a new trailer for Leave the World Behind drop. Uh, and uh, I thought that we would just take a look at the trailer here because I haven't seen it. I am a Julia Roberts fan. I am an Ethan Hawke fan. And um, yeah, family drama based on the novel. So basically, it's like an end of world scenario, right? Mahershala Ali's in this. Our new Blade is in this movie. Yes, Mahershala Ali. So let me just pull up the trailer and hit the play button. I went online this morning and I rented us a beautiful house out by the beach. I figured if I made the reservation and packed our bags, it would eliminate most of the reasons to say no. I like this because Julia Roberts in a movie like this, well, oh, this the end of the world. Nice. Curious. Kids look so happy. Ethan Hawke always brings it. The Wi-Fi is working. Get a pad. And it's going to be on Netflix, guys. So that means we are going to be watching this. I'm so sorry to bother you. Together. But this is our house. This is your house. That's a weird... Uh, we were driving back to the city, then something happened. You want to stay here, but we're staying here. Well, are the they just here. using an Airbnb or something? Renting the house for the weekend? I need to think everything's going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay, isn't it? Hey, so that we took a while to... Ongoing cyber attacks across the country. Made it into the trailer. Something is happening, and I don't trust them. That big tanker Everything coming towards us. Though. I have told that was you. creepy, right? I don't believe you. I would do anything to protect my Ooh, family. Kevin Bacon's what in this. What you do is your business. Yeah. Kevin Bacon? Get in the car right now! Yeah, that's what I want to see. And I hope that this is what uh, Quiet Day, uh, Quiet Place Day 1 is going to be like, too. Where it just comes... Have all you been apart. picking up on what's going on out there? Whatever it is, it's happening to all of us. I just want to know. That look of panic in Ethan's eyes. Here. Wow. Leave the world behind. Nice. In select theaters November and on Netflix December 8th. What did you guys think about that trailer? I thought it looked uh, pretty good. And I forgot, yeah, um, Kevin Bacon is in it. Yeah, right there is Danny. Uh, I like that scenario of, like, kind of like the end of days. It's all going to hit the fan. And it's really cool to see Julia Roberts in, a, in, in this type of movie because normally she's in dramatic pieces. Yeah, that, that shot of the tanker coming towards the beach. Of course... It'll ground itself, but you'd still want to clear the way. But it's just ominous. It creates that feeling of dread. And uh, I thought the trailer did a fantastic job of capturing that. Um, very fascinating. What other work has this director done? This Sam S. Mail. Uh, Mr. Robot? Yeah, they said that in the trailer, right? Uh, I want to see his directing credits, please. Homecoming? Mr. Robot, Virtual Experience, Comet. It's not a whole lot of stuff. Um, doing a TV series called Metropolis. But, uh, yeah, that was a good trailer. Um, that shot there towards the end when everything's coming out. And you know that, uh, yeah, there's going to be standoffs with people. Can I trust you? Are you just going to try to loot me? Uh, that kind of thing. And you know Kevin Bacon is going to be playing one of those people that's all hunkered down in his bunker. And uh, I can't wait for those interactions. But there was a shot there towards the end. Yeah, that, what's going on there? Is, there, is that a plane crash? Or is that the tanker coming and hitting the shore? Um, yeah, very interesting. But that, that shot of, uh, yeah, of, there's like a red tornado coming up behind him or something. Uh, but yeah, that look of Ethan Hawke and the woman trying to get in the car, and he's like, he's like that, oh crap, mentality. Um, guys, December 8th, right here on Netflix, we'll be, uh, right here, uh, we'll be watching that together. So come to the channel and uh, join, and we'll be watching that. Uh, loved Myla Harold scenes opposite Rachel Sinan in Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Can't wait to see more of her. You had my curiosity, now you have my attention, especially with that stellar cast. Can't wait. 
It's about time Ethan and Kevin make a movie together. Yeah, people have said that uh, Ethan Hawke and Kevin Bacon look alike. <laughs> I've seen those comparisons, but um, I like the premise of this movie, man. Looks like a quiet place slash Black Mirror mashup. Kevin is looking more like Ethan Hawke every day. <laughs> yeah, there's there's going to be those comparisons. Um, what do you guys think about that trailer? Let me know in the comments below. I thought it looked pretty good. Uh, yeah, if you like what you've seen, guys, we do movie news throughout the week. Let me know what you think about that. We also uh, do full movie reactions for like Pain Hustlers, movie reviews for Killers of the Flower Moon. We watch Survivor, Hell's Kitchen, How a uh, Fall of the House of Usher series, movie reviews for Reptile. Holy killer. Um, if you like that kind of thing, come join the channel. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Mirror Domains. All right, so I'll cut that out and post that up on the channel later on. Chris Schober says in the live chat, interesting trailer. Yes, it does. Leave the world behind. Looks promising, says Art Glass uh, Vikings. I wonder, well, is there a twist in this tale? Oh, yeah, that could be. Could there be a twist? I don't know. Uh, Byford says, I don't know. I like Greenland.